Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to show you how we can fix a crooked nose in Photoshop. So, this girl who I was um, doing some work for uh, a hairdresser in a college, she some photos which I, I took for her. And the girl herself says, Look, um, could you straighten my nose in Photoshop? Um, maybe one day I'll get it straightened. And I thought, Well, you know what? Easy done, so let's show you how we did that. And first thing we're going to do is duplicate this layer. This is the actual image. We're going to duplicate the, the layer. Uh, so we've got a couple of options here. We can right click and go down to duplicate layer. We can come up here to the menu at the top of the screen. And if we go layer, duplicate layer, or there is a keyboard shortcut, which is much easier. It's Control and the letter J if you're on Windows, or Command and J if you're on a Mac. So Control J for me. That's the layer duplicated. And we're only wanting a small area. That's the only area I'm going to touch. And and this this works good as well if somebody's got um, maybe a, a chin that's a bit saggy or or cheeks that are too puffy out, and and they want that kind of reduced. And and let's it, you can reduce or enlarge anything if somebody's butt's too big or their thighs are too big or their arms. The, the same principle, same tool works on pretty much any part of the body. Um, so I only want to work on this little bit here. So what I'm going to do is take this tool here, it's a rectangular marquee tool, and left click the mouse, drag a, a selection, and if you drag too big or too short or, or you want to move your selection while it's still active if you hit the space bar you can move that selection to anywhere you choose um, so we're just wanting just the nose uh, maybe just a little bit of the forehead as well um, so take it to about there and that's cool and we're going to use the liquify tool so it lives in here in the filter menu so if we hit filter Liquify, there is also a keyboard shortcut, um, shift control and the letter X. Just gonna use it from here. So it's filter and liquify and it opens up this dialog box. A few tools in here, um, the actual tool that, that's the best for, for this uh, procedure, if you like, is this one here. It's called the forward warp tool. Or if you just hit the letter W on your keyboard, it'll select it. And Essentially, what you do with this is make selections, and if you are too hard-handed, you do something like that. Control and Z will undo that. And I like to get the brush that I'm going to use um, a little bit bigger than the area I'm going to do, but I don't tend to. If you use the edge of the brush, very edge against the, the skin here, you see it just it's moving it, but but very very slightly. If you use, if you go too far into the the selection, like you use the back end of the brush, you'll see not only does it move the the part of skin that you're touching on the outside, it's moving inside as well. Um, so for me, if I'm moving an area like here, I'm just going to virtually the the you know the the, the rightmost part of this brush, and I'm just going to gently nudge and, and and get the the movement that way. There's another tool here. It's called the Freeze Mask Tool. Mask Tool. Uh, again, if you hit the letter F on your keyboard, that would be that selected. And the Mask Tool is great. It allows you to mask off areas that you don't want to move. So for here, I don't want the eyes to move. I don't want the eyebrows to move. And if I take the mask away just now, this is what happens if if you get this wrong. If you have a look at the eyebrow, you'll see the whole brow is moving which that's not what we want so we want to protect that um, I want to protect the hairline and you know anything at all that's not wanting to be moved that, that I don't want to so we'll back to the mask tool and I'm just going to take a, a few seconds and we'll, we'll just kind of mask off areas that I want to remain exactly where they are uh, and that's what the mask does so we'll just quickly and that just protects all that I'm um, not going to touch any of the lips, anything like that. I'm not really going to touch the forehead, but sometimes when you, you alter the shape of the nose, it might be that you, you, 
you're kind of affecting the whole profile of the face so we'll maybe take a little bit in up here as well so again select the forward warp tool and I'm just going to come to the area in those that that is that this sort of crooked area and I'm just using the outermost edge of the brush and I'm just going to gently nudge it in you don't have to be too soft with it but I think you know that's probably enough right there and quite happy with that we could reshape the end of the nose if, if you know if the nose was particularly large not that's not the case here and if you have a look at the profile of the face, you think maybe it's it's kind of awkward that. And if somebody's getting their nose done, um, if you've watched any medical programs, sometimes they will have other alterations done up here so that the nose is nice and smooth all the way up. Again, not needing in any way to do that in this situation. So, um, happy with that. Maybe just a little tiny bit in here. And again, we're just using the bare edge of the brush just to gently nudge it in. We'll click OK. And I'm going to use Control and Plus on the keyboard, and I'm going to leave the selection active. And by hitting Control and Z, Z, sorry, with the selection active, you'll see the before and after, and you'll see it's just reshaped that little crooked area, and it's now perfectly straight. So there you go. That's how we reshape someone's nose using Photoshop, and um, that's using the Liquify tool. I'm Derek Mack. Thanks for watching.